The work you see is titled Arg. Arg originates from the language of comics. It is this onomatopoetic sound that comic figures make when they die or are being hit by something. The whole title is Arg. That is tomorrow. Um, subject are people's fears and the threats of the future. Example here, you see new diseases. Um, down here, cyber war. Right now, you see spam destroying computers and triggering evil consequences. Here, we've got uh, migrations, lots of folks arriving by train and every other means of transportation. Up here, we have the rise of the Chinese, where we deal in the first place with meat. To explain, let's go over here. This is one kilogram of beef. A kilo of beef needs for production roughly 15 to 16,000 liters of water. This is explained down here. Problem is that in China, India, Brazil and other emerging economies, the middle classes are growing and they too want to eat that kind of meat. Ecologically a rather serious threat. A threat we mock over here. Happy Chinese clap and there comes the beef. Mm, humor sets the prevailing tone of this work. We make fun of the threats we show and we do it by the way we arrange and edit the found footage, which we use in a very free jazzy way. Now aesthetically the whole thing has this 60s look all over it. Reason is, while researching how to depict the future, after all we are dealing with threats of the future, so we realized last time that the future had a vast visual appearance was in the 60s. Today's fields of the future, where boundaries are broadened like computing, robotics, gene technology or nanotechnologies do not evoke images. Take nanotechnology, nobody has a visual. That's why we went back to the 60s, what helped us as well getting this uh, mocking humorous approach. So all three parts have this op art feel. And now to some allusions to art and its history that you can find in the videos as well as on the panel. Being artists, we have to confront threats too, mainly the reproach to be too populist, the critique that always lurks when you work with humor. This is undermined by all the references for art specialists. For the specialist is this robot that was central to the exhibition um, This Is Tomorrow, a crucial show 1956 in Great Britain that ignited pop art there. The robot was exhibited by Richard Hamilton, who took it from a science fiction movie and brought it to this exhibition. Our title That Is Tomorrow alludes to this exhibition and we point to Richard Hamilton's famous collages that were one of the sources of our inspiration. Now, there is a second layer of references to art history, uh, the religious ones. The whole work consists of three parts. The two outer ones are half as big as the middle one, so you could fold them, meaning this is a triptych. Triptych is Greek and means threefold, three times folded. In the history of religious art, the triptych works like that. When it's closed, so you would see what is there behind, you'd see a scene from daily life. When you open it, you see something festive, something important to religion. We point, of course, to Euronymous Bosch, the great master of triptychs, and you can find several direct allusions uh, to Bosch's work. Duplicated is the theme of the triptych with the fridge. If you close the two sides, then you have the outside white and profane. Open it and you get the abundance of groceries. In Switzerland in the 60s nobody had a fridge like that. You had small fridges with one door. I remember from my childhood pictures of these huge full fridges were part of the promise of the American dream. A kind of secularization of a salvation utopia. Heaven on earth is a huge well-filled fridge. 
The religious is reinforced by the two helmets that uh, resemble hallows of uh, saints, something we find in the art of the Southern Soviet Union. Their religious motives could be disguised as space travel, which was all right for an atheist state. So in Georgia, for example, you find cosmonauts flying in the sky uh, who look with their helmets like saints. The strongest religious symbol, of course, is this piece of meat nailed onto the wall. And the word was made flesh, the gospel according to John. You nail flesh to a wall, blood down here, quite obvious, I do believe. And um, in the um, tradition of religious art, you have to know the center is where the people in the work point at or look at. That is what uh, counts. In this work, they point at the middle of this uh, time tunnel, which goes to infinity, and with that I come back to the title. The title is Arg, dying, Arg, that is tomorrow. Meaning there where we are going in the future, what awaits us in that time tunnel is death. That is what it's all about. The core of this work is death, all the subjects around it, the things we are making fun of are flicker. What really matters in the long run, we are all that.